Yes, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Garden of the Mind YouTube channel. Today is Fit Friday, so we'll be talking about how to motivate yourself to exercise. So if you're looking to work out and you don't know how, you're in the right place. So let's get into it. We all know that we're supposed to work out, but it seems so hard. You have a full day's worth of work. You have braving traffic. You have making meals, possibly taking care of children. Where does all of the time go? Where is the time to work out? In order for you to do something that you would like to do, you have to link it to something that you're already doing. I.e., if you have a particular routine, you have to link up what you would like to do with that particular routine. A perfect time to start working out is when you first wake up. Now, most people, when they think about working out, they think about staying in the gym for an hour and a half to get these great big muscles and wear these tight shirts and tank tops and a whole bunch of other things that working out has nothing to do with. Working out just means exercise. If you can do a little more exercise today than you did yesterday, then you're winning. So that's the goal. That if you are able to do a little more exercise, working out is just working out is just doing exercise. If you are able to do a little more exercise than you did yesterday, then you are already winning. So try to massage working out into the regular things that you're doing. So in the morning, which is a perfect time for you to start to work out, just get up and do some push-ups. Push-ups are one of the single most best exercise that you can do. Start off with 10 push-ups. If you can't do 10 push-ups, do five. If you can't do five, do three. If you can't do three, do one. If you can't do one, do a half. If you can't do a half, do a quarter. Start somewhere and celebrate where you are. So let's say you could only do that quarter of a push-up. The next day you try to make that quarter a half. And if you don't make it, you continue to go to move forward. And if you don't make it, you continue to go forward and try to increase the amount that you are currently doing and make it a little bit more than what you're doing. So if you're starting off with that quarter, see if you can extend it to a half. After that half, see if you can extend it to one. If you can extend it to one, see if you can do two. If you can do two, go to three and so on and so forth. We don't want to make this a big task that is too big for you to undertake. We want just small progress every single day. If you can start out doing one push-up, that makes you better than the day before. If you could only do one push-up and you didn't do a push-up the day before, that's progress. We have to celebrate that. You're not going to stay there. You'll be able to do more than one push-up and two push-ups and three push-ups and four push-ups. So wherever you are, start right there and try to increase a little bit later. The second best exercise that you can do are burpees. So when you wake up in the morning, see if you can do one push-up and one burpee, if that's what you can do, or half a push-up and half a burpee. Wherever you can start out with, start there. If you can do more, do more. As I said on previous episodes, success begets success. So once you start and you start to see some success in terms of what you're able to do, that gives you encouragement to continue to move forward and to try yet again and again and again and again. Tip is go to the gym and you have to trick yourself into believing that you're only going to stay there for five minutes. But see, a wonderful thing happens when you go to the gym. When you go to the gym, you see other people there who are looking to get to the same goal which you are, which is improving their health and improving their overall physical development. Most people are a little self-conscious because they think that everybody at the gym is looking at them. But they're there to work out. They're probably not paying as much attention to you as you think that they are. In order to go to the gym, you have to pay attention to yourself. But go there for five minutes, ten minutes even. And that's it. You don't have to do a whole workout. You don't have to do a whole 45 minutes or whatever. Just be in the environment. Being in that environment 
is so helpful because once you get there, you're not going to want to stay and only do five minutes. You're already there. It probably took you far longer to get to the gym than the five minutes that you say that you're going to stay. But whatever it is that you do, make sure that you come back the next day. With going to the gym, pack your gym bag the night before. If you have a car, put your gym bag inside your car and drive straight to the gym after work and work out because if you come home and you happen to see that bed it's gonna call you and you're probably going to listen if you don't have a car place your gym bag right at the front door so you can come to the door you can drop off your work bag take your gym bag and go straight out the house don't even walk inside the house go straight to the gym and remember you're only gonna do five minutes and if that's all you do then that's fine, that's still a celebration because that's five minutes more than you did the day before. And every day, just come and only do five minutes and you'll be surprised at the outcome. Another tip for working out is wake up early in the morning. If you can wake up about five o'clock to go and work out either at the gym or in your home, you'll be all the better for it because everyone is sleeping at that time. It's very quiet and that's the time that you can actually take for yourself. After you develop a routine for going to the gym, you'll start to feel a lot better about yourself. You'll start to look at yourself and you'll start to look for those changes. When you go to the mirror and look at yourself, instead of you looking at yourself from a position of deficiency, you'll start to look at yourself from a position of increase and you'll start to look at your body and say, oh wait, I think I see a little bit of line here. I think I see a little bit of weight loss here or there or chains there. Whatever it is that you see, you'll start to add things. You'll start to look positively towards what your new self is going to look like. Okay. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. Tune in on Monday for Mindful Mondays when we will be discussing 10 ways to say no to a friend who is trying to borrow money. Remember, thoughts are actions, words have power, and actions have consequences. See you soon.